I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. Did you know we had our very own celebrity cat at the Escondido Public Library? This was no ordinary feline. She had more than her 15 minutes of fame throughout the United States and even Australia. It all started in 1994 when the library staff decided we wanted to rescue a cat from the Humane Society to be our mascot. As fate would have it, Elsie showed up just at that time. A homeless person who could no longer care for her pet brought her in to us. We formed a kitty committee who dubbed her Elsie the Cat, or Elsie for short. There was no doubt that she was destined for greatness. Elsie reigned supreme over the entire library, upstairs and downstairs, entertaining the staff, greeting patrons, showing off her glossy black coat, and delighting children. Cat lovers were more than thrilled. People who rarely visit our facility came in just to admire and fuss over the friendly feline. The kitty committee lovingly made sure Elsie's various food and water bowls throughout the library were full. She even came into staff meetings to meow a hello or two. Years went by and Elsie claimed the library as her own. As she became more and more famous, citizens of Escondido donated money and gifts to meet her needs. Two little girls even confessed to checking her out. Elsie from the library taking her home for the afternoon and then returning her later. November 16th, 2000, began like any other day. Elsie was in her favorite spot, laying on her electronic desensitizer, purring as it hummed, basking in the attention from the usual parade of admir admirers. When a man came with an assistance dog named Kimba, came into the door, she jumped on the dog and scratched its muzzle. Mr. Espinoza became extremely upset and asked to see someone in authority. When I spoke to the man, he asked that the police be called. When he declared that Elsie was dangerous, a fight between Mr. Espinosa and another patron nearly broke out. In the end, the man sued the city of Escondido for $1.5 million, although the vet bill he had to pay was only $46. The kitty committee went up in arms. News of the incident spread wide and far. Patrons were outraged at the lawsuit, which was deemed frivolous by many. Staffers were equally upset, and emails from LC fans poured in. The press coverage was phenomenal, as headlines blazed from local newspapers to the Wall Street Journal to the National Examiner. In the end, a jury found that the library was only guilty of loving the cat too much and too long. But Mr. Espinosa was awarded nothing. <laughs>